Have you been wondering what the difference is between toners and essences and lotions? Well, I'm gonna clear that up right now. Toners and essences and lotions, oh my. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some different toners, lotions, and essences that I have and talk about the differences between them. If like me, you grew up in the 80s do you remember toners being very astringent? And what I did like is seeing all that extra dirt and oil or leftover makeup coming off on the cotton pad. Sea breeze cleans so deep you feel it. The only thing is, is that it kind of made my skin feel kind of tight. And as I got older, uh, that just wasn't working for me so much. Nowadays, toners have come a long way and most of them, well, I mean, I guess we get the one that's right for your skin, uh, aren't going to be as harsh or drying. And they're a good way to reset the pH balance of your skin after you've washed your face. The information I'm reading to you is from Alexandra Schultz from a blog that DHC Cosmetics put out on August 19th of 2019. It says that a toner is an essential step in the skincare routine to restore your skin's pH and to prepare the skin for subsequent products in the routine. Even if your cleanser is pH balanced, your skin still might be affected by the pH level in the water. So when the water is hitting your face, your pH balance is changing. Uh, it says it's important to restore this balance before applying additional products. Toners can be applied with the hands or on a cotton pad. If you're, what you're using is trying to remove excess makeup and dirt, then you probably want a cotton pad. Uh, I dual cleanse, so usually by the time I'm using my toner, I can use my hands because I don't have anything else I'm really trying to take off. I'm just trying to restore my pH balance. So a few toners that I've been using, this one by Belief, I've had like three of these. I want my last one, I'm gonna have to buy a refill. Um, this is the Belief Witch Hazel Herbal Extract Toner. I know, because it said witch hazel at first, I was like, hmm, really? Um, but you know what? This one doesn't make my skin feel tight or weird or anything like that. I've been really enjoying it. Uh, it has uh, sodium hyaluronate, 2% and ultra moisture control herb complex, uh, 10% in this. So this is one I've been really enjoying a lot. Um, there's this one I have, this is from Epiance. Uh, this one I do apply with a cotton pad because when I sprayed it on my face, even though this is for, let's see, a dry sensitive to normal skin, if I spray it and I get that mist in my eyes, I'm like, ah! So this one I do apply with a cotton pad and I like it. Um, probably my least favorite of what I've got though. Uh, I love this one. I love this one so much. This one by Fresh is the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner and it's with rose fruit extracts. So you can see that rose is in there. And I apply this with my hands. I apply the Belief one with my hands also because I don't want to waste a single precious drop. This stuff is fabulous, so moisturizing, so hydrating. I have a friend and she uses this at night. She tends to break out if she puts on moisturizer before bed for some reason, like during the day she's okay with it. Um, and she uses this and feels hydrated all night. So this is fabulous. There's a new one out by DHC. This is the Arume. They have a new line now, um, and there's a moisturizer, there's this lotion, you know, they've got several things in the line. And again, just to show you, you know, this just looks like a drop of, you know, kind of a little bit more gel-like water. Editing Nicole here. I lost the rest of that clip. My memory card ran out, but I didn't think it had run out then. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on to the DHC site here and we'll look at the or my lotion. It's a hydrating facial toner for all skin types. And the ingredients include rice peptides that are supposed to revitalize your skin and promote cell turnover and help eliminate dullness and encourage firmness. Sake to help brighten and protect and act as a gentle enzymatic exfoliant. Damascus rose flower water to tone and hydrate your skin. Silver Ear Mushroom is an antioxidant and helps to retain moisture, and Tocotrinols, an antioxidant that helps fight free radical damage. Now let's talk about essences. Essences are essential to Korean skin care routines that are often overlooked in the Western world. Well, I think that's kind of changing because every time I look at skincare now, regardless of where it's coming from, they have an essence, it seems. Case in point, I went to Sephora.com, typed in essence, and then refined by skincare, and 172 of them came up. This step is a great way to target specific skincare concerns, and a good essence is filled with ingredients that hydrate, nourish, and brighten the skin, and essences are usually applied by pouring an adequate amount in the palms of your hands, rubbing them together, and pressing the essence into your skin using the whole hand. By rubbing your palms together, you'll be employing the warmth of the palms to boost absorption. So, you know. Burm, 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 burm. You probably see people do that. So let's talk about some of the essences that I've got. I'm again kind of stuck on some of the same brands. When I got those toner samples, deluxe samples, I also got their essence. Uh, this is by Belief. This is their Hungarian water essence. 
Oh my God, I love this stuff. I also have their Hungarian water essence mask. Editing Nicole here, I misspoke. There is no Hungarian peel off mask. It's the first aid transforming peel off mask. Fabulous. And it says peel off, but it's not like, you know, peel, rip your skin off. You put it on and when you add water, it just kind of like papery kind of comes off, you know, so you are technically, I guess, peeling it off. You're not just like washing down the sink. You have little blobs that you end up throwing in the trash can, or I do, I'm afraid I'll clog my sink. Um, but it's supposed to increase your hydration level by 20%. Totally love this. And I'm on my last one also. I'm going to need to buy the big one. And then this black tea kombucha facial treatment essence. Um, I was sent this uh, by Fresh through Octoly, uh, and I've been using it for about two weeks now and look how little I've used. So a little bit goes a really long way with essences, I have to say, because you know, you're know you just putting some in your hands and pressing it into, you're not just kind of drenching yourself with it. Everything I've been reading about kombucha, it's supposed to be so good for you whether you drink it, I just don't like the taste. I've really tried, I've really tried. Um, so I'm, I'm applying it to my face. It's just better that way for me. So what they're saying about this one is that it's a silky liquid powered by kombucha, fermented sweet black tea that increases moisture and luminosity for a radiant, lustrous complexion. And again, I've been using this and I think I might actually have a bit more glow to my skin. Now let's talk about one of my favorite things, lotions. Lotions or emulsions are thicker than toners and essences and are not always an essential step in your skincare routine. In terms of the Korean skincare routine, a lotion is a light moisturizer and people with oiler skin types tend to stick to lotions instead of the thicker creams or moisturizers that are commonly used in Western cultures. Now, even though a lotion is very liquid like a toner or an essence, it doesn't have any alcohol and it's really all about the hydration. Uh, I picked this one up around Christmas time. There's a really good set at Macy's uh, and I had some sort of a gift card. Uh, this is the anti-aging treatment lotion by Origins. It's the plant descriptions. And if you look at it, it really is, you know, like a milky, whoops, you know, very liquidy type of a, of a thing. Uh, and it absorbs in very quickly, but is super hydrating. Look at this lotion. This one is by Kogan Doe totally watery, but super hydrating. This has their special spa water in it. Okay, I'm going to have the most hydrated hands in the world. God, I need it. That's the one thing I'm noticing. As I age, my hands look so old. Got to do something about these age spots. Need to have a photo facial on my hands. That does actually get rid of them. I've done it before, but they're back. Unfortunately, they come back. Quick tip, if you want to try out a product but don't necessarily want to invest in the full size, then pick up the travel size. They're often available and that way you can try out the small guy and then if you like it and later get the big guy, you can refill the small one and it's fabulous for travel. What I find is just use what works best for your skin, what feels good, what gets you a result. And what I've noticed is if I don't use an essence and lotion underneath all my other skincare, my skin just doesn't have quite the exact glow and brightness that it does without. So I'm not saying, oh my gosh, all my wrinkles are going away and you know, it's my total anti-aging. I do a lot of skincare. I do a lot of good skincare. So I'm not saying that it goes totally downhill when I don't use these things, but I don't feel like it's as good. So hopefully this has been helpful for you. Would love to know, do you use toners or essences or lotions? If so, let me know down in the comments. Also, it would be great if you gave this video a thumbs up if you've been enjoying it. Have a wonderful day wherever you are, and it's not goodbye, just so long until next time.